Yeah, you guys, so that vote passed through the House of Representatives today, 143 of them voting in favor, none opposing. So now it makes its way to the Senate. And we have been following the Senate discussion so far. And, and at this point, they have not brought up the topic just yet. And today, I asked the governor if it now passes the Senate at this point, how long would it take for him to sign it? And he said 10 minutes. So this could be a relief for both people and businesses at the gas pump and keep money in their pocket. The proposal to eliminate the state's 25 cent gas tax for three months, making its way through the state legislature Wednesday with bipartisan support. The goal is to help drivers save money at the pump, money many businesses have lost with gas prices up. Lately it's been tough filling the tanks uh, with gas prices, so you know, any little bit helps. Food truck owners speaking alongside the governor echoing the need for help. We're very excited to be able to see something happening that's going to further empower food trucks who obviously rely on their livelihood uh, to use gas to move around to make money. The bill focuses on three things, the gas tax, free bus rides and a week of no sales tax for clothing and footwear purchases. That would be in mid-April. The initiatives would cost more than $100 million to the state, but it's something Republicans and Democrats think needs to happen. I have heard from so many people in my district how the cost of gasoline skyrocketing has affected their life. And if we can provide some kind of relief, that's a good thing. It does not include diesel. Republican Tom Delnicki thinks it should for produce transport to help keep prices down at the stores. The governor says that may not completely benefit Connecticut drivers. Diesel taxes you know, predominantly paid by a lot of truckers, most of which are outer staters going right through the states. More than two million people rode buses in the state last month. The free services would go into effect as soon as they are all ready to. The gas price reduction would also need time to take effect because stations need to go through their already purchased supply. We believe that by April 1st, they will have cycled through whatever they've already bought. And then there is a provision in section two of this bill that specifically requires every single retailer in Connecticut to pass this along to consumers. And if this does get passed and gas stations don't enforce it, there could be repercussions. But the leaders you just heard from say that it will probably do them more harm not to enforce it as customers would look elsewhere to get cheaper gas. And we will continue to follow that Senate hearing. And, of course, there is a possibility that it gets tabled for another day, just depending on how long their discussions go today. So stay with us both on air and online at Fox61.com. Live in the Capitol tonight, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.